Hello and welcome to the English 360 screencast tutorial on creating a course. In this tutorial we're going to look at two ways uh, we can create courses. One way is to go to your Teach tab and then pull down the menu and then click on Create a New Course. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's imagine that you want to actually use out of the box one of the public resources. Uh, imagine you are running a course for nurses. So let's type in nursing in the search field and this takes us to the Cambridge English for Nursing Intermediate resource. We can click on the title to have a look at it and we can click on some of the units and expand those folders to check the pages. Yes, this is indeed the resource that I want for my students. Well, from uh, any place in on the secondary navigation, we've got an actions menu. We can use the actions menu, pull that down and click on duplicate to duplicate the whole resource. There is a difference between resources and courses and here we have to choose what type of duplication. Our suggestion is that you duplicate it to the course type. The basic difference is a resource is for reference, a bit like a book that you might have in your staff room on the shelf of one of the bookcases. When you turn an English 360 public resource into a course, you make it personal to the group of learners that you're going to be using it with. You allow that content to be submitted by learners and you allow the two-way channels of communication to go uh, to to be enabled for that content so that you as a teacher can give feedback and that learners can ask questions within the page comments or on the forums or ask for feedback and give feedback on your comments. So let's choose course rather than resource. Uh, my course is not called Cambridge so I'm going to change that to nursing and I'm going to put intermediate uh, just for the purposes of this I'm just going to say XYZ so obviously the name here can be anything and at any moment you can change this later. Let's now click on the duplicate button and that will start the duplication process. This will take a few uh, probably a few seconds or if you have a slower internet connection maybe a minute or two because of course we have got several units that we're duplicating. Uh, you'll see a warning uh, notification that says that the resource is scheduled for duplication and we can uh, go at any moment to back to our teach tab, back to view all to see the courses and that's where it will appear when it has been duplicated. Uh, if for any reason we lose it, we can also obviously search again nursing and this time uh, instead of looking for one of the resources from Cambridge, we'll see nursing intermediate for XYZ, which was the one that we just created. The course will be in draft and there are still some decisions that need to be made because we can choose to publish uh, the whole course at this stage or we can just publish uh, the course so that it's available and then we can publish one unit so only that unit. There's another screencast tutorial on making content available so we'll talk about that later. There are other decisions to make for example we haven't got a logo so do we want to put an image and from the appearance settings you can do that. So check out some of the course information and the appearance settings to make the course the way you need it for your learners.